and welcome to the Nexus for our build video. We are doing our Optimus Prime Pack 13. We're going to do the whole lot. So that is issues 57 to 61. Uh, just because these are like, there's only, there's, there's little bits to do here. I uh, thought just to clump it all together, really. Uh, it's been sat here a couple of days. So I thought, you know what, let's get it out and done with uh, because um, it will finish off the torso. This this pack completely finishes the torso of Optimus Prime. So let's 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 get going. Let's go. Okay, so this is what you uh, you get in the whole pack. So you get five issues. Now be careful because you do get a battery in this pack. So make sure you uh, make sure you look out for that. It's easy to disregard in, in the box. But yep, you do get a packet, uh, a, a battery for the remote and we're gonna be doing the remote in a second. We're actually gonna do the whole pack because like I said, there's not much to do. And uh, we're gonna do it as we normally do. So. We're just going to take the issue number, have a look quick look through the magazine and then get through all this. So the first one we're going to do is issue 57, which is the remote. We also need our battery. It's great the fan home supply the battery as well. So you don't have to sort of run around trying to find it and battery for it, which I think is absolutely perfect. So let's put the rest of the books down here for a second while we do issue. 57. Okay, so let's zoom up a little bit. There we go. Uh, so we're going to have a look at issue 57. So we have a quick profile on Dylan. He was in uh, Dark of the Moon. Um, and then another primal figure. Ramble, or Rumble, I should say. We have another profile there on Rumble. Uh, then we've got uh, Transformers Beast Wars one so i would imagine that's season one uh, or the anime version of it just there uh, and then we go through the episodes and then obviously in this issue we're just doing the remote and put some wires in so let's do that okay so here's the remote i've already gone ahead and stuck the wires in so let's pull the remote out that's what the remote looks like just like that. It does have a protective film over the top, which I'm going to peel off. So there you go. And this is where the button is. Or the, I should say the button. I should say the remote section just there. So we're going to stick the, rem, the battery in like that. And then we're going to push it in. And... It doesn't really do anything at the minute. So uh, we've we've plugged it in. So all the plugs are now in place in the back. They're all numbered all along the back there. They're all uh, numbered and that. And then we've we've plugged it in. So I don't know. Maybe it's the batteries. So the battery packs in here. Remember, and we can take all this off. So I'm going to do all that and then I can show you if it works or not. But I'm not too sure. What we got to do so i'm going to do that okay so uh, i've just turned the switch on which is here so down is off and up is on so we can now push this back on with that pit fall in as well and yeah that just sits on like that okay so we're going to turn it around i'm going to hold it so it's like that I'm going to push the button and it literally just turns the lights on. So I'm going to turn the lights all off. Uh, that is sunlight. <laughs> so there's all the lights. I'm really happy with that. So all the lights are on and then it just pushes again to turn them on and off. And it works. Do you know what? I'm really happy that that works because um, I was worried uh, that it wouldn't uh, that it wouldn't work, but uh, you can see all the lights on. I'm happy with that. 
Okay. So, I'm very, very happy with that. Uh, we got it. Now, I'll need to sort of adjust this. There we go. So it sits. But yes, the remote works and the lights work. So, I'm really happy. So, let's move on to issue 58. Okay, so, here's everything for issue 58. Like that. We're going to have a look. Zoom. There we go. So, issue 58. Uh, the Fallen. Uh, the Fall of Megatron, shall I say. So there's Megatron there. And then we come on to Hunting Season. So this is tra um, Optimus Prime in Beast Hunters. I think it was part of Transformers Prime. I'm not too sure. Um, they had like a subtext series called um, Beast Hunters. Uh, then we come on to Mirage. So Mirage obviously was in the latest um, Transformers movie, Beast Wars. Um, I think it was called Beast Wars. I can't remember now. <laughs> oh, do you know what? It'll come back to me in a minute. Uh, but yeah, um, Rise of the Beasts. That's what it was called. Uh, Mirage was like the main character. It was a bit of a turn of difference because we were always used to Optimus Prime and Bumblebee. But I think they played it really well with that. Uh, then we've got Cybertronians, Beast Wars 1. So these... Having a look at the action figures for that. A giraffe, <laughs> a penguin, a shark. And then as we're, we're building up the next section there. So, let's open this up. Okay, so, going. as you'll notice with this pack, no screwing. So, there's very little um, sort, of, sort of screwing together now um, in terms of what we've got to do. So we have these two parts here, and um, we've got this part here. Okay, so we are now moving on to the next section. So let me push this over here like that. You can see that. So these parts go here. So uh, you've got a big hole, a small hole. So these these two bits just here, and then that one just there. You need to make sure that no, no wires are in the way, like we do have here. So we need to just pull that out slightly. I'm going to fit this. Just like that. I say just like that. There we go. We've got one that side. And then obviously there's going to be one on this side. There we go. So they're both in. And that's how they uh, they look just on there. Like so. Next, what we're going to do is we're going to take this part here and this little part. So, can that stay there? That's it. So, we're going to take this little part here and we're going to stick that onto there. Like so. So, that's like that. And then this part here is going to sit. So, it sits on these three pegs here. So you've got the three holes there. They're just going to peg into these three here. All right. So it's a, it's a really tight fit. Um, so let's move these wires a minute because I think they're going to have to go down here somewhere. Let me uh, put them down there. Like so. So that's like that. 
Okay, next, we need to, should have a little, let's have a little thing here. Okay, so we're gonna just push these down to stabilize them a little bit. Okay, so we're coming on to his exhaust pipes, which are, I'll tell you what, they're really nice. And they also have that sort of uh, burn effect on the top, which is really good. We'll have a closer look at it at the end. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is now it doesn't, there isn't no, there's no, okay, so there's no, so that one goes in and that one just gets pushed on like that. So on this, you'll have um, a sort of a groove line on here. And that's where the bigger pipe goes, like this part, and it just sits on like that. And then these parts are going to click in. Like so. So I just sort of go into these holes just there. Like that. So that's where we're at on those two. So he's got his smokestacks now, which are brilliant. So let's do issue 59. Okay, so these are the parts that you get with issue 59. We will need a screwdriver this time because we're actually screwing something in. But first, let's have a look at the magazine. Like that. So this is 59. Uh, we get another look at this. I think he's like in the Accountant is his is Whitwicky's boss in the movie. A sort of he's not really there. It's quite weird. I don't really know what's going on there, but we get an in-depth profile him, and then we've got crossing over. So uh, over the last couple of years, they've done a lot of crossovers, as in um, they've done Ecto One and they've done a, sort of an Ecto version of Optimus Prime. If they've done there, they've also done the DeLorean, um, the X Wing from X Men. And obviously the the ship from uh, the plane, I should say, from Top Gun. They've sort of they they're doing loads of this sort of stuff. Uh, and I, they've just announced they're doing a Knight Rider version that was just announced at San Diego. So these crossover things they happen quite a lot. Uh, then we got a Frenzy. So these are the cassettes. We've been going through these now. Uh, these are if you remember the original series, they're, they're the cassettes that were in. Um, Soundwave, um, but yeah, you have wheelie and stuff like that, they're part of it. Uh, so you've got Frenzy there. Uh, then we've got some more Beast Wars characters, so these are the more the dinosaur ones. Um, so yeah, you've got Dead End, um, and just ones like that. And then we're just do it working more on the back of Optimus. So let's open this up. Okay, so I'm not too sure if this comes with sounds now. I'm starting to wonder because I thought that this might be, we might have a speaker or something. In I have predicted that we may get a speaker in this side because we had the power pack in the other one. We don't. And um, we've only got one more slot in the, in the circuit board there. So I'm not too sure how it all is. I'm pretty sure there is sound effects, but at the moment, yeah. <laughs> um, okay, so you need to push the other one in. Now I've already gone ahead and done that. You can push it in. We'll do that um, together with this one. So firstly, we need to just build this again. So we're just building the other tanks. So that goes on like that. Clicks on like that. Uh, then this one just goes at the side here. Uh, like so. And then what we're going to do is we're going to screw this on with some DP screws, which we've got here. So I'm just going to pull this round like that and we're going to screw this just here just on there using dp screws so i'm going to okay, do that now. so i've done that just there right there there we go right there um so now what we're going to do is just rust up there for a second i'm going to build this section just here Okay, so we need to undo this. 
and then we need to put this panel on so it sort of matches the groove lines so that's just going to sit like so on like that and then we're going to grab this small piece and that is going to sit sort of in there like that and we're going to put this part on so i need to bring him over i'm going to zoom out there we go so holding him very carefully um, we see these three here these three holes so we've got those three pegs there so that's going to sit just on there like so that is that bit done so it's all coming together now so there's not much left to do on him now i don't think there is anyway anyway that's done issue 59 so let's move on to issue okay, 60 so this is the parts that we get with issue 60 some red parts which is great uh, we're going to need our screwdriver for that so let's have a look through the magazine quickly okay so a bridge between worlds so this is the uh dark of the moon when uh they were trying to pull cybertron to earth um then we come on to i can't read that's upside down uh but a beast wars one uh is that trailbreaker uh it's, it's difficult to read it upside down anyway trailbreaker here uh, Transformers Beast Machines. Uh, we have a look here. These, this is that early CGI animated stuff that um, a lot of people went sort of crazy for. Um, but this is all the uh, Japanese stuff there. And then we're coming on to that. So that's what's in that magazine. So let's open that up and get going. So before we open the bag, we've got this little bit just here. Do you remember that little tiny bit? Um, let me... Uh, zoom up do you remember this little bit we need that because we're going to be using that today i'm going to leave it zoomed up like that and get his part the parts out now we have got now i'm going to see if i can uh zoom up. we've got some really tiny bits just there and they are tiny uh but we're going to need them because we need to put them on this little bit here so I'm going to see if I can do this because we've got these little bits here. They're tiny. So we've got some round sections just here. And we've got the little ones. These little ones here will go, we'll just peg into here like so. So that's this little one here. That little thing. And then it's going to go into the smaller hole onto the side here like that. And then we've got the bigger ones, obviously, onto the bigger side. I'm just going to push them like so. Like that. So that looks like that. So what we're going to do now is we're going to push everything to the side a second we will need that because we're going to be using that just making sure you don't get rid of those little tiny bits so we're going to bring over the optimus himself okay so this part here is going to fit just somewhere along here so right okay so these holes here and these parts they're going to sit on these bits here so what we need to do is just sort of line it up I think pieces are going to come off because we really got to use a bit of force to push that on so I'm going to use that I'm going to do that okay, now so that is now pushed on you do need to give it a little bit of a push then we're going to take this bit here and this is going to just sit on that like that
like so. So that goes in the centre there. Okay, so we're going to be building some stuff now. So this needs to be carefully placed. Bring over these parts. Don't forget these little bits. Just like that. So we do have this and we have these parts here. Okay. So the first thing we're going to do, I'm going to grab this section here. And we are going to screw on, we've got right and left, actually, I think I might have them on the wrong way, I do. So right is this side and left is this side. I should say the other side. So they sort of match up perfectly with that. Um, so we're going to screw them in with AP screws. So I'm going to do that now. Okay, so that is what that looks like with those screwed on. Then we're going to take these parts here. So we've got left, right side will just connect onto the right side. So we're literally just pushing these ones on. We don't screw these ones. We're just literally pushing them on. So it sort of sits like that. Okay, so with these tiny bits that we've got just here, we need to put them aside a second. Bring over the torso again, like that. And this part is going to go onto that centre part there. So we literally just need to push that down, like so. And then we're going to grab these little bits here, and they're going to go somewhere. Okay, so they're going to go into these little holes just at the top here. I mean, it's getting... There we go, there's one. And there's the other one. Nice, it's like a little tiny detail, but it's all worth it in the end. Now, this needs to be pushed as far as we can, like that. And I'm just going to show you now. I mean, look at that. It's, I'll tell you what, the back's looking as good as the front. Uh, so that's the pack. Uh, we've got one more pack, one more issue to do, which is issue 61. And then the torso's complete. So let's crack on. Okay, so I, um, I believe this is the last, the last issue we have to now build the torso. This, this, this issue now finishes it. So this whole pack is just finishing off the torso. Uh, so we have a look at Dutch. He was uh, one in, was it the Revenge of the Fallen, I believe? I oh, know. Um, I don't know. Was he in Dark of the Moon as well? It's been a while. Uh, then we got on to the Lions of Raw. So this is more of the Beast Wars stuff. Uh, then we come on to uh, uh, Reflector. That's it, he's the camera one. So reflector. Uh, then we come on to the maximals. So some more of them. Some more of those uh, figures and that. And there, here we go. So we're building the next section which the head will connect into. Um, now it has a sort of socket here. We do have a circuit board, the socket. It's the last one to go in. So I'm wondering if this is what the head connects into which we've been on about so maybe that does the, the sounds i don't know um but i always thought it'd come with sounds anyway it's still a fact like this is the best figure i've ever done um and part work i think at the moment this is my favorite part work uh, I, i'm biased i suppose because i'm a massive transformer fan so we're building up the neck this also means that we can attach the head and this brings a closure to uh, the torso and we're moving away from that so anyway, let's open this up and get going. Okay, so here's all the pieces that we get. Uh, so you can see the sort of difference between them. So the first thing we're gonna do is pick up this one. Now the motor is curved at one end. So it's sort of uh, rounded at one end. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna put this in here. Uh, so it's gonna sit in just like that, I believe. Yep. 
so the wires come out and oh no ah uh, uh, yeah okay so like that so the wires come down so it sort of sits into this curved section here and this block that we have here is going to sit into this top section just here so that's going to sit just like that then what we're going to do is we're going to pass the wire round and then through this gap just here there's a gap there and then what we're going to do is we're going to take this section here and then this section is going to sit like that onto there like that and we're going to use the uh, ap screws so i'm going to do that okay so that is like that screwed them in next we're going to place the rest of the section on that's going to sit just like that and we're going to put a ap screw in this one just to close this all up and then one in the other side just in there just uh make sure this one is double tighted yep lovely so that looks like so now that actually looks like that that's his next section now i believe we're gonna touch these two bits together yep so now what we've got to do is uh line these pieces up here so we go in like so so uh, there's a hole here there's this bit here and there's like um a whole section just here and that's going to go through there like that and then just push on like that okay so this one has s written on it and i'm going to pull over this and what we're going to do is s for some reason is the very last one I'm going to try and so s is the one right down in that corner just here so i've got to try and do that so i'm going to put that in there in there like that and then that is the front section there that is the back and then this is going to peg so we've got the hole here for the ball joint so that's going to sit on there so you want to try and keep some of these wires away so i'm going to plug this in and then plop it on there okay so his neck is on it does you really do have to push down quite a bit you really have to push uh it does click down uh but i have his head here so that should <gasps> connect in And then if I remember right, there's a little switch. On here, let's, uh, I'll tell you what, let's go to the other Okay, camera. so his head's on. So at the back here, you've got off, on, and um, which obviously stays on all the time. And you, the other switch is connected to the other lights. So if I use my remote, they all come on all at once. And I can then turn it on and off as I please. Now, I did think it would come with sound effects, but obviously it doesn't. But I tell you what, that is still... Oh, it's so cool. His head is now on. Uh, that actually completes the torso. And... Uh, the, the detail i know i haven't got the wipers in they will go on uh we're now completely fully built and i'm just going to show you the back section of him because effectively that's what we've been building in this pack so we finished off all these little bits i mean he looks i mean this has got to be i've absolutely loved building this it's got to be one of my best builds so far
I'm so glad I built this. Hang on a second, let me just push it back a little bit because it's now lopsided. But he looks proper. Okay, there we go. But I mean, look at that. He absolutely looks so, so good. Um, look, thanks for watching. Make sure you click like, subscribe, and let us know in the comments what you think. Um, if he ever comes up on, on um, Free Fan Home again, look, just build this thing. I mean, it's going to be absolutely huge. I mean, we've got his leg here. That's his leg. We've now done his torso and his head's now on. So actually we've got, in terms of parts lying around, we've actually got no parts lying around for him. Um, in terms of other things that I'm building on the channel, make sure you go and check them out. Uh, we have parts for everything just lying around. This is the only model I have where um, I do have the leg and the arm and, and the torso, but in terms of parts to be screwed on or parts to be going on, I don't need, it's, it's, all, it's all been connected. Um, I, I think that's going to change <laughs> in the next couple of issues uh, when we start on his on his hand. I do think we start on his right arm. I think that's where we're starting on the next pack. Uh, but I'm just going to turn his lights on again because there we go. I mean, it looks cool. I'm just so glad that everything works on him as well. Look, I've been the Nexus. Thanks for watching. Uh, I know I said it a minute ago. Make sure you click like, subscribe. It's not worth... Please give us a thumbs up. The thumbs up really important. It takes two seconds, doesn't do anything else except acknowledge that you like the video. So hopefully lots of fun build up on this one. But anyway, look, thanks for watching. Make sure you check us out the other videos and we'll see you guys at the next video. Until then, take it easy and we'll see you then.